Well, this Cardinals Ravens QB carousel flip flop back and forth it continues as we know last week the Cardinals were thinking hold up Kyler Murray's been out for a little while we don't know how much longer he's gonna be out but what's the next best thing that's available in the NFL next to Kyler Murray but <laughs> throw it on a dime Trace McSorley Ravens aren't using him anyway they aren't protecting him on a practice squad why not so the Cardinals they signed Trace McSorley to their active roster from Ravens practice squad. And in a corresponding move, they cut quarterback Chris Streveler. So then the Ravens were like, hold up, hold up. Kenji. And I feel for Kenji, man, because Kenji's a hometown hero. He's from the crib. He was getting the play where he's from. And they actually said that when he got the call last week to come back to the Ravens, that he was working at his uncle's warehouse. So he wasn't like one of those people that's like, all right, it's, it's football or nothing. He said, no, I'm, I'm moving on. I, I still got bills to pay. I got to keep this thing going. So shout out to him for having that work ethic and that just really life ethic um, and not being, not acting too good like, oh, yeah, I done been in the NFL before, so I don't have to work it. No, that's humility right there. So shout out to him. But they, they brought Kenji back, but now they cut Kenji Bahar. And they signed the quarterback that got cut for Trace McSorley from the Cardinals, Chris Streveler. So this just been round and round they go. So I guess they just really did want somebody with a little more uh, NFL experience there. And, I mean, Ravens, we, we, we've been saying it all season long. Um, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And it's true because, especially with Lamar, you know, once, once that stomach start hurting, that's when Ravens, they, they get to panicking because you just, you, you never know what's going to happen next. Because, um, again, Tyler Huntley, once he solidified that QB2 spot, uh, I was thinking going into this season, I'm like, all right, I know Tyler Huntley going to be on the roster. I, don't, I didn't expect Trace McSorley to be on the roster. Uh, but still, we got Trace McSorley as a backup backup, and he done been around since uh, 2019, so he's familiar with the team and whatnot. I'm like, okay, we cool, as a, just in case. But that just in case option changed last week. But just looking at uh, Streveler, he, uh, wow, he has played for the Cardinals just the past two years. That's it, past two years. Um, so it ain't like he got any crazy experience and then not like he got oh so much more experience than Kenji, but he does have a little more experience. So I guess that's that. That's the nature of the business in the NFL. Now, in another move, the Ravens place uh, Kevon Seymour on the reserve COVID-19 list. And we'll see what happens with that. We 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 gonna see because um, I'm not sure I, I I forget this is one rule that I haven't quite wrapped my head around yet as to the way that it works like if you're vaccinated what you can do as far as coming off of the list depending on how many days ahead of the game I I gotta look it up but so he could be out for this upcoming game we'll see but this puts the Ravens down another cornerback yet again. But hopefully, if he's out, hopefully, I know he wasn't a start or anything like that, but hopefully if he's out, Jimmy Smith can come back and Chris Westry can come back. So hopefully. And we still got, of course, Marlon Humphrey, Anthony Averitt, Tavon Young, who all, each of them had a really good game yesterday. I know Marlon did have a little pass interference. Like I said, Marlon, it, don't, the thing with Marlon Humphrey, he just loves to love. That's all it is. He loves to love. That's why he gets those pass interference and those defensive holding calls because he just loves to love. He just wants to give those wide receivers a hug. That's it. Show love to him. That's the only reason. So we got to just, Marlon got to separate the love. He got to take that out of the games. If he takes the love out of the games, oh, man, he, oh, he will be number one corner in, a, in the NFL. Straight up. All he got to do is stop hugging people. <laughs> but anyway, um, with this, this COVID list, speaking of the COVID list, T.J. Watt. He got added to the COVID list today. So there was actually a couple of players from the NFL that got added to the list today. But TJ Watt, this could cause him to potentially, maybe, uh, miss the Ravens in the Steelers game. And if he missed that, that would be huge. That would be huge. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, now, Harbaugh had a, 
a little baby press of the day. Call it a baby press because it really wasn't anything. wasn't anything significant spoken of in there. Um, so that's why we didn't do a video on it or anything like that. But with uh, Hardball, one thing that uh, jinxes aren't real. There's no such thing as a jinx. Um, but with Hardball, he, he worried me today because... They asked him, and I mean, they they didn't really have any... Well, they did have some significant questions. The, the, my favorite question was about uh, Rashad Bateman. Because they were like, oh, Rashad Bateman, his, his playing time and his playing percentage, his snap percentage, it's been up. It's been pretty high over the last couple of weeks. But in this game, it went way down. They were like, what, what was that about, John? Or Mr. Harbaugh, coach? Well, whatever they called him. They said, what was that about? And Harbaugh was like, well, we uh we went to more uh, heavy personnel in the second half of the game. And I was thinking, mm, well, but mm, I, I still, but why wouldn't Rashad Bateman? Be? Anyway, um, but something that one of my guys brought out, my guy Cam, it was a really good point. And I had not thought of that. And I hope it's not the case. And he hopes it's not the case. But he made a really good point. He said uh, he hopes that Rashad Bateman didn't enter into like a little mini doghouse because of that tip ball that ended up being a pick. He hopes because I, I, I don't remember what quarter that was in, but oh no, Lamar threw all three of his, he threw three interceptions in the first half, I believe, and then another one in the second half. So, but and Rashad Bateman, we didn't see Rashad Bateman in the second half like Harley at all. Oh boy, that <laughs> that would be a big yikes. Oh, uh, because the math is adding up, and I and I hope that us being these private Ravens investigators, I hope we just overanalyzing it. But couldn't put it past him. But he was saying that he hopes that Rashad Bateman wasn't in Harbaugh's little doghouse for that, because you know, you know Harbaugh, but. If he is in there, and if he was in there for that game, for the remainder of that game, you know, he, he can't be in there for too much longer. Well, or can he? <laughs> Hope not. But no, nah, he shouldn't be. Anyway, um, whew, something that Harbaugh said that kind of like, it reminded me of last year. It took me back to last year with Pernell McPhee. Um, Harbaugh was asked about these coaches around the league. And the coach today... That tested positive for COVID. I'm trying to remember which coach it was, but I cannot remember which coach it was. Mm, I'm trying to think. Ah, whatever. I ain't going to even dwell on it. I forgot who it was. But they were asking, oh, what, what do you think about that, Coach Harbaugh? What do you think about that coach testing positive? And he was like, I, I, it's unfortunate, but he said, uh, I'm not going to test positive. I, I'm not going to test positive. Or at least I hope not. So I'm praying that I don't. And it just took me back. The way that he said it at first, he's like, I'm not going to test positive. I was like, oh, I, what, do you know? Like, hopefully you don't. Hopefully nobody does. But it just reminded me of Bunnell McPhee. Because I remember he had a presser one day last year. And he was like, hey, uh, stay positive and test negative. And that was his saying and his slogan for a little minute. But there was one press where he said it, and then a couple of days later, they were like, oh, Pernell McPhee, he uh, ended up testing positive for COVID. I'm like, oh, man. Um, but hopefully they, Ravens, and really no, no team has one of them little crazy outbreaks like what was going on last year. Last year was crazy. Last year was COVID crazy. It was COVID crazy. That, that, that thing was wild, especially, like, first it was the Titans when they were getting ready to play the Bills. But then Ravens were like, what? That's y'all little COVID outbreak? Please watch this. <laughs> and yeah, we remember how that went. And we had that COVID Steelers game. Um, so anyway, team keep it clean. That's that, man. Uh, we got questions from subscribers uh, up tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, be on the lookout for that. Uh, and y'all already know what time it is. Just keep your notifications on. Anything that goes down, you already know what time it is. Uh, I love y'all. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you for watching the videos and sharing your thoughts respectfully. Um, thank you for just everything. Thank you. Again, whether you agree with the stuff that I say, that's fine. If you disagree with stuff that I say, that's fine. It's all love as long as you just show respect. That's it. Whether it be to me, whether it be to other people in the comment section, that's it. That's all I care about. Y'all know that. I love you. If ain't nobody tell you today that they love you, 
I love you and I hope that you have a really, 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 not even a good day, but just a great day, a great week. Have a great rest of the month because it's only uh, today the 29th. So we got today and tomorrow and then we already in December. That's great. That's crazy, man. This year has just it's Southwest Airline by. Get a little dad joke. It flew by anyway. All right, y'all. On that note, on on that joke, I need to go on and get up out of here. I love you. We out. Woo.